Hi, Anti Society. Welcome back to the Anti Social Planet. Today, we are celebrating Xian's birthday by checking out her song Paradise, which won the poll that I did over on Patreon. And shocked me a little bit that this is the one that won, but you know what? I'm still learning. I'm still figuring out what the fan favorites are. So, we're going to be checking out this song. We're going to check out a lyric video so we can just listen to the song and then the special clip. And I do know that there are other versions, specifically a piano version, that people really want me to check out. And I promise that I will, and I will check it out very, very soon. It just won't be in this video for time reasons but that is incoming. I don't know what to expect from this because I find that the Xian that I see in like Dreamcatcher with her music is different from like what I've seen. The little that I've seen of her solo stuff I've only seen. Entrancing is the other one that I've checked out and it had a very like fairy tale feeling to it and a melancholy which I wasn't really expecting for that song but it was gorgeous so I'm super excited to be checking out some more of her solo stuff so let's check out Paradise. Okay. <gasps> oh, okay, we're gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna go all the way to the beginning again. Her voice, her voice is so pretty, and I love that she's starting off so light at the beginning of this song because I know that she can get into some really rich, warm, dark tones and she's got tons of power to her. So we'll see how this song progresses as we go along. But just uh, gorgeous light vocals at the beginning and her vibrato, stunning, especially with like the lyrics of having that like shake in her voice that it just like has this vulnerability that, ugh, okay. I don't have enough tissues with me. I feel like this song's gonna get to me. <laughs> Though. Okay, we're bringing drums in. I love how she's getting a little bit more closure with her voice. Again, not like the full force that I know she can get with her voice. So beautiful transition of just like getting a little bit more closure. She's still light on other parts. She's not projecting a whole lot. Like she's keeping this very like mellow energy level to her voice which just beautiful but like that note that note when she sings noise gorgeous Ugh. Okay, I know we're about to get into the chorus, but like again, more closure there. And I love how she's digging into like the lower part of her range too, because I know again that we can get some real power from her voice. So staying in that lower range is kind of one, keeping to like the melancholy that fits with the lyrical content, which by the way, heartbreaking. I don't even know like what to pull from it because it has this like monotony to it which i feel like is really interesting to have lots of bass and drums so literally like a repeating beat going on and there's not like a bunch of wild stuff happening with that so it literally feels like this almost like walking like you're just kind of continuing to move but you're not really going anywhere there's this wandering feeling to it and it's like picking up speed where it's almost becoming like this desperation to like break out of the monotony of it but i love that she's having that lower tone because it's keeping that energy level down before we get into the chorus because it's a great way of like progressing that sound um again higher register with that like lighter sound so she was able to hit those higher notes but keep them really light and airy and then as she's getting that more closure she's she's deepening the range so that it 
kind of keeps this darker and uh, low energy to the whole song. <laughs> Ooh. I love the vocalizations too. Okay, interesting that we have like the repeat of what we had the lines at the beginning, the very beginning of the song, and it's like a great way of comparing those two vocal, like, I don't know, states. <laughs> I'm showing that I don't have like the technical know-how of singing and music and stuff like that, but very light area at the beginning, definitely going into like that falsetto kind of um, register, and then the same lyrical content, same melody, but in that lower tone far more in her like chest range uh, we haven't gotten into any like mixing quite yet maybe like little moments uh, to accent certain parts of the phrase but not like a full-blown like mixed moment in her vocals yet but i love getting that parallel between those two like seeing what she can do with the certain registers that she's picking with her vocals to have that progression i also love that it has a ton of closure but again she's not fully going off you know like we're not getting like belting tones at that point so she's still keeping a good rein on the energy level and like modulating that throughout the song which i think is really really good like it shows how much control she has over her voice and i love that i love all the synths too far more of like a beat to this one than i was expecting i get why people want me to check out the piano version though like given the lyrical content and given the way that her voice sounds on this I definitely get wanting to get like a ballad version of this song. So definitely the top of my list of things that I need to check out. This part, this little like breakdown moment. Mm. Oh, I love she getting to the deeper tones. I love here where she's mixing that airy sound with that like darker, deeper tone. Again, where we had it kind of separated between different verses and now she's flipping between them. Like the way that she can control her voice, I'm so jealous. Like I know at a, some point, at some point I could probably do this, but not anymore. I don't have the training anymore. And it's just beautiful to see the way that she can control her voice to tell whatever story she feels like. It's the singer in me that just like appreciates pure talent being in front of me because the, the technicality involved, it just hits differently. Like it's a gorgeous song, but the way that she's flexing, I love it. The switch though, between this and the verse. Slide up to Oh, that run in the back gave me shivers. I was waiting for that moment. I knew she was gonna give me shivers at some point, but that just like stuck up on me. Oh, I love the inclusion of the like layered vocals too that has like this almost choir feeling to it not quite but like having those layers just like adds a little something 
to the second part too and of course it's like her voice so it just like it sounds heavenly i just i need her to stop giving me songs that are just like candy like sonic candy you know what i mean where it's just like it's it's too sweet for me to like listen to it over and over again but it sticks with me and every once in a while i'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a little treat and I'm gonna listen listen to one of Shan's like solos. And now I have two to choose from, but there's just too much going on that I'm just like, oh, it's too much. Oh, it's so good though. Ooh, okay see in there she's given a little bit more it's like a little bit more into her mix range she's still kind of staying more chest uh, i would say like dominant in that but getting more into it and getting those beautiful tones of just like lots of closure brighter still playing with all these like little vocal little moments of like little runs little fun cadences like there are so many wonderful little uh, melodies in this that add to this kind of like melancholy but like there is this feeling of like continuing to move forward like it has this momentum and i think that that's why i'm focusing so much on the way that she's controlling the energy of the song is that there's still this forward momentum to the song even though there is this melancholy and monotony to some of the lyrics like she talks about like continuing to return and you know we even have the lyrics of like run away like it's this feeling of trying to get out of this place right like she's trying to get somewhere where she can breathe she's trying to get to paradise she's trying to get out of this loop that she's finding herself in so having this forward momentum feeling of the energy to the song just lends so well to that narrative and i don't know what she's gonna do for this bridge but i, I have a feeling it's gonna be so good that i'm just like i'm kind of stalling a little bit just a little bit Keys in the back are haunting. My brain stopped functioning i'm kind of shaking i had shivers for like a solid like at least 20 seconds like you know how you like you get shivers and then it was like i got shivers again and then right again <laughs> like back to back like there were like three modes in there of just like my body not knowing how to react to how she sang that i also feel a little bit like crying <laughs> and i don't know if that's the overwhelm or the lyrical content or what the emotion she's putting into it, I don't know, but I need- I, I rewound, so we're gonna have to listen to it again. Um, and I'm kind of not ready. I had to go way back. This part. I'm never gonna get over that. Run away. Those mixed ad libs, too. I 
I love how the vocalizations are still there. I'm not okay. I look, I knew that this was gonna be a journey. I knew that this was gonna be a moment because everyone has been telling me to check out the song for a while. In fact, I think when I did entrancing, people were like, cause I was like, oh, I'm gonna do the This Is videos for all the members and then I'm gonna check out a solo song. And I remember people wanting me to check out Paradise. And I was like, well, I'm gonna do entrancing because I'm doing the solos all from the same album. And that way it's fair, you know, between all the members. I did not expect this song to cause me so much emotional turmoil to somehow heighten my respect for Xi'an as a vocalist, because I thought I had a lot to begin with, but apparently we hadn't tapped it out yet. I need to hear the piano version. I totally understand where you're coming from, where you're like, okay, but you have to check out the piano version as well. Um, agreed. Definitely putting that to the top of my list. I don't know what the special clip is going to be. Partway through that, I was like, oh, there's a special clip too. Like, this is a whole experience I'm having just with the audio. There's a visual to go with it. Okay, okay, I don't think I'm ready to like see her while hearing the song, but sacrifices have to be made. Okay, let's do this. Am I emotionally ready? No, but we're gonna do it anyway. Ooh, good lighting. Okay, but can we talk about the storytelling? Or she, like, look at her. Look at there in this panel. Like, the look in her eyes. She's literally just sitting there. The storytelling that is happening. I already talked about it with just her voice. And then adding in like, the little things that she's doing in the song. And I almost feel like the, the kind of, like, little nuances to it are what are important with the song because it is about kind of being stuck, right? So if there's this huge onslaught of emotion, it wouldn't fit with the narrative of the song. It's not like she's talking about like a specific moment of this intense emotional feeling. It's like this feeling of feeling stuck and needing to run away and needing to break out of this feeling that you're in, this place that you're in. So having those little nuances to the feelings fits into that kind of numbness that is pretty sure is mentioned in the lyrics. So the look on her face right now, I just want to hug her. Oh my goodness, hello. Okay, I didn't expect her to look directly at me, but yes, the lyric where she says, like, dulling, like, fitting with the kind of emotion that she's conveying. Also, I just noticed with the lyrics where it says, like, mixing all the paint together, too many colors mixed together or whatever. It just makes me think of, like, when you mix every color together, you get brown. Brown is the color that you get, <laughs> which isn't the most exciting color and i just find it interesting that like if you can take all these colors all these this vibrance all this life and when you mix it together you get brown it's just like an interesting image there of like there's all these things that could have all this color but because it's all mixing together and it doesn't have like this distinct feeling to it it's not like doing its own thing it's being all mixed together it has this you know this brown lackluster feeling to it like the the color is being basically taken from it because it's all being mixed together. I was ready for her to make eye contact. Especially with those contacts. Man. I feel like this is a staring contest. I also feel like... Sorry, it's a staring contest. I also feel like the eyebrow raise was not necessary. Ma'am, I am here to appreciate your beautiful vocals. Not to be attacked. Thank you.
multiple thoughts. One, I kind of feel like her cheekiness coming out in that is also kind of indicative because it's her talking about wanting to be somewhere better. So the fact that in that moment where she's talking about running away and getting to a different place and getting to experience something better, you know, paradise, her kind of more personality comes into her face. Like those little things like her facial expressions, the eyebrow raise, that cheekiness, right, is like her basically coming alive again with that kind of fantasy. I also think it's really a really good acting choice that when she said paradise, she closed her eyes and kind of stayed with that. It had this kind of dreamy feeling to it of like almost coming out of the dream kind of. Like she was imagining what it would be like and then at the end she kind of had to come back to her reality and we have that break in eye contact again, right? Like that maintaining eye contact, that, you know, letting us see into what she's thinking, right? Like eyes being the gateway into the soul and stuff. So she's making that connection with us as the audience and then the moment that she has to go back to talking about kind of the monotony that she's stuck in, this place that she's stuck in that she wants to get out of, eye contact breaks. Just some, just some interesting acting choices there and I, I appreciate that it's subtle but it's important to not having the video just be, you know, it's very simple because it's a special clip but being able to use that simplicity to your advantage to have a little bit more of an intimate storytelling where we can focus on those little nu nuances and things. Very, very interesting to kind of pick those out. I feel like I switch from like being enthralled by what's happening and then like getting those moments where I'm like, oh that's a good choice. <laughs> Where like my my uh, actor brain fires up and I'm like, oh, hang on. So just just some good little details in this. I like the lighting too. She's in very um, subdued lighting. That, that vocal in the back though. see there too okay like ma'am again i'm here to appreciate not to be attacked the lyric of if you see me and then i was like "Ooh, is she gonna is this gonna be when she comes back to the eye contact because again eyes gateway into the soul so truly seeing her like not just seeing a person not just seeing like kind of the exterior um what she's choosing to portray to the world it's like actually seeing her for who she is and i love that we have that closing the eyes for a prolonged time and then opening them and making eye contact again because it's it's making that connection again with us as we're going back into this kind of fantasy of what she's hoping for what she's dreaming of this part oh the smile Okay, mm, no, mm -mm. she did not need to make direct eye contact with me like that while singing like that at that part. Also, whoever did her makeup race, just saying her, her eyeshadow going on, I could never do that. I was already shaken, literally, by that part of the song. The eye contact is too much for me. Am I gonna watch it again because for some reason I enjoy pain? I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore, guys. I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Look, every once in a while I'm like, oh, yeah, we'll check out a solo song. How bad could it be? Because it's like one member, it's not all of them attacking me at once and then I still get attacked or completely heartbroken or all of the above. Just, I, I'm gonna take a drink, okay? We're gonna take a drink break. Everybody hydrate, then we'll watch it again. Okay, ma'am. Okay.
beautiful. This though. Run away. Okay, but I also, okay, just at the end there, I love that she had the backlighting there because I was talking about how I love that she's in this very, like, subdued light for a lot of it. It seems very gray outside, like, overcast, and then you have this shot of, like, all of this light coming up from behind her, very angelic, um, has that feeling of, like, you know, paradise or something that is, you know, so much better and brighter than where she is. And even though there's this separation still, because there is that window between her, so she's here, window, and then the light is outside, there's still that hope there that you can get to that and that you can at least see that outcome. Because we have a lot of her gazing out of the window and then we finally have that moment of uh, having all the light come through there, which is really good. I need her to leave me alone though. That That's one thing, you know, the, the talent was already getting to me. Um, I don't need the intense eye contact to go with it. I think it's fair to say that I don't fully know how to articulate how I feel after that experience. This is like the same kind of feeling that I had after entrancing, but like uh, entrancing. See, I always get it wrong at some point. I just, my, my, I felt like my brain had too many things in it for me to like fully articulate it, even though this song is different from that one. Like, I feel like this one had so many other little things to it, definitely more beat in terms of the production. It had this haunting feeling to it, but in a very different way that was like almost, it had this darkness to it that I feel like Entrancing didn't. Entrancing had this haunting to it of like a memory, right? Like this thing that isn't, doesn't have any like actual physical feeling to it. It's just like this very airy light memory that you're kind of walking through in this dreamy state, whereas this one feels very weighted and it feels very stuck and just like a very different feeling to this song and yet it's leaving me with a very similar feeling of just like not knowing how to articulate the emotions that it put me through i mean fantastic vocal performance like she is so so good and this is one of those songs where like if someone was like is she that good i'd be like listen to this song and tell me she is not a phenomenal singer because you can't you can't listen to that and and actually honestly say that she isn't a phenomenal vocalist so and all the little nuances in her performance in the special clip i know that special clips are far more subdued in uh, their content but i really wanted to check out the song and then the special clip because it's like an actual original song it's not a cover so i wanted to really make sure that i was paying attention to the song before i got the visuals thrown at me so i know that it's more simplistic because of it being a special clip but there were so many little nuances to the performance that she was giving and the little things that she was adding to the narrative and i love that it wasn't just let's have a video for the song it was what can we add to this song to put little little things into it, little character moments for her in it, which I absolutely love. So I feel like I'm gonna be listening to this song a lot and <laughs> trying to figure out how I feel about it. Like it's just gonna sit in my brain for a while, not in the way of like an earworm, but I feel like it's going to be just like the the different feelings that I have are just gonna be like stewing there for a while and it's okay because I have a piano version to check out so I can just kind of feed in to this new obsession that I have but I hope you enjoyed listening to that along with me you can click this playlist to go and see my previous reactions or you can subscribe to so me next time I post a dream catcher reaction I will see you in the next video bye